Michelle Sonnen made a big deal about your weight cut last week on, on ESPN. Is there anything to worry about? Anything to say about that? I'm a professional in this business. I don't mess around here. I, t I take this game really seriously. I'm on point. My weight is smooth ass. Don't believe everything you hear. Were you surprised I said that? I uh, know. We did have a discussion, but I think he must have misheard me what I said, but I didn't say I was that high. That's, that's too high. Discussing. Uh, I'd say I walked around. Channel 8. Why would you do that? Uh, uh, we discuss numbers. Uh, yeah, we number we discuss, so. You don't expect me to take it. Well, it's a good bet. It's a damn good bet. The odds, I mean, I take it. I hope he takes it. Let's Connor, is Sinead O'Connor uh, serenading you into the, uh, the octagon on Saturday night? That's, that's true? That report's true? How do you feel about that? I, I know you're a big fan of her. Yeah, of I actually wasn't expecting, I mean it was packed for the rafters on Sunday Wednesday, I, I, I believe uh, it's just going to keep raining and on and it's going to be more and on and everywhere, so it's going to be a phenomenal weekend for the Aries and for myself and the teams, I'm looking to enjoy every second of it, and I am in the end of the second of it. Connor, if he's, the, uh, superior, if he's the superior wrestler, what do you do to combat that, to overcome that? I, I don't think he's the superior wrestler. I've been trained by my Moldovan coaches for a long, long time, and my, my coach John is a phenomenal grappler. I feel, I feel in the grappling exchanges, I have the advantage. I'm smoother in the grappling exchanges, so... Um, we, will, we will go out and shoot him down wherever need be. You know, I say styles make fights. What do you see unfolding on Saturday night? I see him... One or two exchanges, one or two scrambles, and him having enough. He has a built-in excuse, and he's he's speaking it. You know, he's took the fight on short notice and all this type of shit. So, one or two smacks around the around the chin, and he will be done. When we, when we spoke with you before, you were somewhat disappointed that Aldo couldn't make the fight. You, you called him and just come out and, and do the fight. Now that it's not him, are you somewhat disappointed or you got over that? No, he's a distant memory now. He's gone running, he's on a jog, out on a jog. So when he comes back, we'll see, but I'm here. I'm here. I don't just talk the talk. I walk the walk. He done all the talking, but he ain't walking, so. Did you you kind of, Jose was hurt. Uh, were you, you know, happy that uh, Mendez was the uh, opponent or were you hoping uh, uh, to see bit, It's Diego? bittersweet. I mean, you do all the, you, you do travel around. It's bittersweet, but there's questions that the fans won't answer that they believe will trouble me. It's, it's a, you know, people even saying that they're keeping me from this type of opponent. It has amused me over the, the course of my UFC career, so it's bittersweet. I have another question to answer now, and I will do that in devastating fashion. Kind of conventional wisdom is you don't kick against the guy that's looking to take you down, but you were working a lot of kicks today, so does that mean you don't, you don't buy into that? I'm going to kick. I kick fast. When I let the kick go fully, it will, like he's that height as well, you know what I mean, I'll <laughs> kick, I'll kick, I'll kick him up, upside his head quicker than he can blink, so, I'm going to kick him. Connor, did you try bad $3 million in your picture? Yes, I did. I'm still hoping it goes ahead. It's, it's a, I, I feel it's a good bet. It could go either way. So, I believe they should take it. It's to do with this pay-per-view stipulation, so it's not just like, it's not as black and white as it is, but I hope he takes it. The commission won't allow that, will they? No, I don't know <laughs> what's going to happen with I, 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 We were discussing negotiations, and one of the negotiations was a, a little friendly wager. So, well, what was their reaction when you first brought it up? Were they, were they I don't know, I sent them an email, oh, you sent breaking it all down. So, have you heard back at all? Anything? I, I just heard that he spoke about it on the radio, so. Who? Dana. So everyone else knows, because I didn't tell nobody. It was it was, it was was behind closed doors. I don't discuss business, he does, but. So I, I, I hope that means he is taken. So. Connor, you've been able to back up all your talk with success. What, do you think, what about those guys that, that can't, that talk the talk but can't back it up? Uh, well, what about them? It's not. I. I it is what it is. They, I don't give a shit about them. I'm here doing my thing. 
Conor, uh, Vanina said that uh, uh, Jose was going to make around $4 million uh, for this fight. If he was going to make that much, how, how much are you making for this fight? This fight with Chad? We'll see what the numbers roll in. But I will make a hell of a lot of money this fight. Hopefully an extra. No part as well. If Jose had a fair look, we would probably make more. I don't know. I think the interest is still there. People still want to see this fight, so... I'm confident. I've, I've done it. I've done it. I've, I've, I've taken over. So. Connor, people try to read into you psychologically. They saw the ESPN interview where you and Dana were sitting there and announced it, and they say, Connor didn't look right at that time. He looked off, oh, frustrated. Do you remember that moment and, and what you were feeling? Not really. I've done so many of these interviews, so many of this media stuff that I just roll with it, answer questions, and get in and get out. This game is a crazy game. A lot of ups, a lot of downs, a lot of ins, a lot of outs. Anything can happen at any given time, so I just kind of ride the wave, and that's, that's what I was doing. Have you felt like it's too much at all? There's some people saying that you've been stretched like, out like too thin. I, like I said, I've done it. I, I, I have, I'm the one making the money here, so I am, I am happy with that. It, this, this, is what it, it, this is what it takes at the top of the game. You have to, it's, it's a lot of work. The best must do that extra, extra bit, so I, I accept it. Connor, uh, showed you the fight, and you have anything planned for home public? Yeah, I haven't anything planned yet, but my family's like a party. I am gonna head straight home to my country and raise that tough So it's gonna be a proud day for my nation, my team, everyone that's been with me, support me. And it's something that's given me good stuff right now, even thinking about it. So I look forward to that moment. Well, Connor, even if the change of opponent, is this still. Give us that water, will you? Sorry, yeah. Water? Is this still the biggest. Uh, combat fighting our sports history? Ah, uh, 100 percent I mean, why when has this ever happened before? These, these things don't happen, you know what I mean? This is still this is still gonna break records. Alright, this is still gonna break records, you know what I mean? It was me they were showing up for. It's me that the the reason the gate 7.1 million. It's the Irish that are flocking over here that are paying that gate. So it's the McGregor show, so it, it will still it will still rock on. How great how have you to the fact that they've, they've managed to still put the belt on this fight after the fact that how they pulled out, the fact that Chad has actually stepped in the game. Grateful, all, always grateful at, at, for everything in my life, but it's 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 the rifle thing to do. You can show up, I mean, you can't. Where's the pride? Where's the fire in him? Do you know what I mean? And then, and then I see him sitting back and him and Chad are like tweeting back and forth, little buddies and all this bullshit. When, when, when a man is close to death, they try and bunch buddy up together, you know. They, they know it's over for them, so let them be little pally, pa, pally pals all of a sudden now. But he pulled out that contest with all of the talk, all of the build up, and not one mention of the fans that flew over, not one mention of London. So we are different people, me and him. And his, if he if he grows a set of balls, his time will, he'll get it as well. His time will come. They're open about lacking respect for you. That doesn't bother you in the slightest. I don't give a shit about respect. This is I'm, I'm here on my own journey. As long as my team respect me, as long as the people in my circle have respect for me and what I'm doing, that's all I focus on. Assuming you win the belt, uh, all buddies here. Everyone's trying to be friends. You know, I, I, I don't have friends in this business. I don't have friends in the game. I am not friends with my, my, my competitors. Dave, this is. I am ruthless in here, and I'm, I'm looking to take every single one of them out. Do you think so that Frank Edgar? Do you think Frank Edgar would deserve the next shot? Yeah, why not? Give or take him, whoever. There's a few flopping about. Who, who would you want next? I don't really. I mean, I don't know. Whoever, any one of them. We know you want to knock them all down. I'm just curious if you had one. Or I mean, we want the fight that we were supposed to have, but we'll see how that plays out. With the IVs potentially being banned later on in the year, mm. and does this mean? Yeah, no, no. I, I, I have rehydrated without the IV, IV many times. So um, it will just be a little bit different in preparation in the lead up, but it won't uh, affect me. Like right. I said, a professional inside and outside. Well, you're ready to punch up, Connor. A lot of fighters, uh, Aldo for one, have talked about maybe the need for a union or an association of fighters as they speak with one voice. What's your, your feeling on that? I handle my own business, and my business is good. So. Handle your business. Connor, we saw you throwing a lot of them ball over what could say to you against Marcus Brimage. Do you think that could be something you use? There are many shots I visualize cracking here. The uppercut, even the straight, the stiff jab, the teeps, the spinning roundhouse to the head, the spinning roundhouse to the body, the lead hook kick, the rear hook kick. 
Man, I have so many shots that could mess this guy up. He's coming in here. That height. When, when you're releasing it, when you're pulling the trigger fully and the, the target is there, it takes a half a millisecond to get from the ground to the head. So he is in a lot of trouble and he will know that straight off the bat. In your, mind, in your dreams, what will it be, do you think? <clears throat> I feel they will all connect, every one of them. Until he has had enough. Your reach advantages check in. Talk a little bit about the, the advantages you have a uh, huge reach advantage. Yeah, yeah, I, I have uh, monkey arms. That's what my coach says. So it's it's good. I feel I am. My body is proportion correct for this game. His is a little. He is in the wrong category. I feel, and that's why he's bunched up small and stuck lucky. It it is not the right physique to. To be free and completely free in your movement. Someone mentioned uh, rehydration. Have you talked to Herb Dean at all about his new product uh, for rehydrating athletes and helping them get back? I haven't, no. Yeah, he, he just released it. All right. Now he's capitalized. That's what he's doing right there. It's the word of the week. Uh, said on the embedded capitalize. So. What do you say to the fans who come watch it this weekend? Who are, are excited to come? What, 2,400 from Ireland and all the fans here in the yes. States? And this is why I do this. I have to go in and blow the roof off the place and feel that energy from the crowd. I love it. I look forward to it and I hope everyone has a phenomenal week here in Las Vegas. Two more questions, guys. How do you think Chad's going to deal with the uh, atmosphere? I think he's crumbling already, to be honest. I just, I see forced, I see a forced persona or something, you know, it's just different. And so I think, and then, and then the little back and forth tweets were, Jose and he's talking in Brazil. Can I ha have a, can I have your fan support, please? And all this bold. What's what is that? That's women shit. Well, not, that's even that's a di that's that's disrespectful to women. That's that's I don't know what that is. That's that's coward shit. Is what that is. So is this the blueprint now for all the biggest fights and such good crap you've been living out here? A lot more U.S. based media. I think Ireland. I, yeah, I think so. I think Ireland. I'll prepare in Ireland. Vegas. I'll prepare in here. Who knows where they'll have me else? Maybe, maybe they won't have me anywhere else now that New York is gone. Or maybe Boston as well. Maybe if it was Boston or more on the East Coast, I'd probably prepare in Iceland again. That's similar kind of weather, and we love Iceland over there. It's a good place. But yeah, I think I think this is the right way to do it. Prediction, right, thank you. prediction. I will KO him. It's, it's as simple as that. One round, too much power, too much precision. One round, you will be unconscious. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right, thank you. We'll see you at the press conference tomorrow.